Hey guys, it's your boy Mark Sanders back with another video. Uh, I did say we we're probably gonna have a double feature today Minions 2 and Thor 4. Yes, I am literally in the car recording this. Um, as uh, you know, we literally are just coming out of the uh, theater parking lot. And uh, yep, this is my review slash thoughts on Thor Love and Thunder 2022. This is recorded and posted on July 12th, 2022. And I won't lie, I wasn't really like excited for this movie, like going in just because, I mean, the trailers look good, but I don't know, just something about it. It was like, I was excited for gore, of course, but, um, but, uh, um, then I saw, saw reviews saying that this was pretty much a straight up comedy and everyone, you know, like in America and all that will, will say this is Taika Waititi style of humor. It's not just Taika Waititi style of humor, it's New Zealand style of humor. And um, I won't lie, the way that reviews made it sound out, it was like it was a full on comedy. I didn't really get that vibe that it was like a full on comedy, but um, I really... Uh, enjoyed it still it wasn't perfect you know um, <laughs> but um, this is definitely a comfort movie it's definitely a fun time at the movies uh, Christian Bale is gore he was fantastic uh, I was really excited for him because you guys know Christian Bale is pretty much my favorite actor and um, he was Batman in the Dark Knight trilogy which you guys know is like my favorite movies ever and um Hey Jesse, are you guys gonna wait for me? Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright. And um you know what? Thor Thor himself was cool in this. Um uh, I love Thor's outfit in this. He uh, literally um like Thor's outfit is I don't really notice like new outfits with these characters in, in MCU and superhero moves in general. Like I'm just like, oh yeah, Captain America, you know. I barely noticed that he has a new suit. But this one, Thor's new suit, noticeable, and it was awesome. This is probably my favorite look of Thor, besides an in Endgame, because I love uh, Fat Thor in Endgame. I know a lot of people are mixed on that, but I love that. Um, uh, Korg was awesome in this. Uh, Korg is like a main role in this movie. He has way more screen time in this. It's not even funny. It's like he pretty much made a cameo in Ragnarok, but this one, he's one of the full-on main characters. I loved Korg in this, played by Taika himself. There was some stuff that was, because you know Taika Waititi, the director, is from New Zealand, like me. And, um, and um, there was some, and I'm pretty sure like Americans won't get it. Uh, no offense, but... Uh, there was some stuff that was like a tribute to New Zealand that that just really, and all of my family that I saw it with really loved that, you know, and I loved it. It, it made me like, whoa, that was so awesome, man, you know, um, uh, the, <laughs> um, Korg was great, uh, there wasn't, <laughs> okay, um, there wasn't as much Valkyrie as you might think. Uh, the soundtrack was banging. Love the soundtrack. Like I said, Gore was so awesome. Christian Bale. Uh, one of, he is now one of my favorite MCU villains. But yes, I am biased because it is Christian Bale. And you know how much I love Christian Bale. Um, he really was a sympathetic villain. You understood why he hates gods. You know, why he's now to kill him. Even though throughout the movie he's doing evil stuff. I can't help but feel sorry for him, you know, and, um, you know what, even though he was doing evil stuff, I never hated him for it, you know, um, Gaul was just fantastic, it's like for the, for like most of the movie, he seems to only pop in sporadically, it's not really until, uh, the final act of this movie that Gaul really comes out, and you really get to see that full-on charisma of the character of Gaul and all that, uh, but I love him. I love Gore. I would love an action figure of Gore. Um, he was fantastic. Uh, Natalie Portman as the Mighty Thor. Dr. Jane Foster. Fantastic in this. Um, I won't lie. Yes, there is woke stuff in this. And when it came up, I was like, fine. You know, I still don't like Hurry it. Up, man. I, st 
I still don't like it. I still don't agree with it. But uh, it really didn't bother me that much. There are two credit scenes, both of them absolutely worth watching. And, um... Yeah, this is a good time at the movies. It's not perfect or anything. Um, it's just a fun time. But, uh... Oh, Russell Crowe is Zeus. Crack up, man. He's only in, like, one scene, pretty much. But he was absolutely fantastic. Um... He, he has, like, a one like 10 minute scene and he's just crack up in it and overall i would give this movie an 8 out of 10 it's a fun time at the movies and i'm glad i saw it what a day and we're about to go shopping in fact my cousins are waiting for me so hope you guys enjoyed this thoughts i i try to keep a spoiler free oh and there was the thing about like cancer jokes in this movie and i didn't really think they made fun of cancer at all i don't get that but hope you guys enjoyed I'm your boy, Mark Sanders, and, uh, yeah, peace out, y'all, hope you enjoyed this, and, yeah, okay, peace out.